I will be presenting uh, one of the modifiers which allows uh, the deformation of my geometry in a couple of simple steps. Um, my problem here, as we can see, is um, how to create this kind of form within three uh, three simple steps. Um, to create this kind of shape, I will just use our uh, modifier which I'm presenting today, which is Morpher. Um, what is Morpher at the beginning? A Morpher um, is a modifier which records two, three or multiple states of my geometry and allows to push my geometry to one of the states which I did record before. So an application to our uh, modifier I will just try to create this shape over here uh, which is geometry um, is deformed within two states as you can see here um, a smaller radius to a bigger one so beginning we will create our cylinder or our shape I'll increase its segments as much as I can cap segments as well then I'll go to modify I will apply on, on our geometry here edit poly and then I will apply again on edit poly our modifier which is morpher So, and as soon as I click on Morpher, um, well, its interface will appear here, uh, as you can see on the right. Uh, the interface consists of two main options, which allows me to uh, to record my geometry states. Uh, the first, the first option, uh, it is channels where I can save my geometry state and as we can see uh, by now all my channels are here empty so there's no geometrical state which is uh, saved now my second option here is uh, my capturing tool and we have two buttons uh, with which I can capture uh, the state of my geometry the first button is capture current state capture current state it captures the state of the geometry which I created here the second button is pick object from a scene which allows capturing the state of another geometry within my scene to apply it on our current geometry and now uh, let's record our first state of our geometry We'll just click on one of the empty channels which we have here and then capture current state and then we will save it, let's say, under A. Then accept and now uh, the state of our geometry is saved. Now we'll go to our cylinder, we will change its state which is supposed to be in this case the radius. We'll just decrease it we'll go back to Morpher to record the new state of our geometry we'll click off one of the empty channels and we will record the new state of our geometry click on capture current state then we'll save it under B then click accept and uh, now uh, let's record our first state of our geometry um, we'll just pick uh, on one of the empty channels which we have here and we will just then click on capture current scene and then we will save it let's say under A then accept now my uh, the state of my geometry is saved now we'll go back to our uh, shape which is the cylinder and we will try to change uh, one of the states 
which is in our case here is the radius just decrease it and then go back to Morpher to record the new state of our geometry we'll just click on another channel which is an anti channel here capture current state and we'll save it under let's say B And then let's try uh, with our morpher. We have state A, which is the bigger radius. And we will try to push our geometry to the previously recorded state. And as we can see, it's already pushed uh, the whole geometry. Uh, but this is not what we really want. What we want is only to change a part of our geometry. So, to do this step, we'll just go to um, back to uh, Edit Poly Modifier and select on Vertices and then select the uppermost part of Vertices. And what we can see here is that our Morpher pushed only the selected vertices to the previously recorded state. But um, as you can see here, um, I do not get uh, I do not get really the smoothness of shape which I really wanted at the beginning. So this is why we will change it here within our uh, modifier edit poly uh, with soft selection option. So we go to soft selection, we'll click on use soft selection and we will see how the shape changes itself to a smoother one. And we can control uh, the amount of smoothness and the, smoother, uh, the smoothness of selection of our geometry with increasing or decreasing our fall off. And then we can actually even play around a little bit with our Morpher modifier so we can just select another kind of vertex and we'll see how my whole geometry is changed it's, it's pushed here uh, from the middle to the previously um, recorded state or even here and this is how actually I can use my modifier morpher just to record two states of my geometry and then try to combine these two states together um, in my shape